brief, sweet, honest, and helpful anthroposophic psychology. This one is about a very important book by Branko First, The Heart and Circulation. It's got great diagrams like that one. I have a prize to offer someone if they can actually explain. I'll even give you a hint, page 174. If you can explain to me what the sleeping giant is, I will send you a free copy of The Counselor, as if soul and spirit matter. This is why this book is important. We've been taught, most people have been taught, that the heart is a pump and that the blood is sort of this service fluid that is very helpful and you pump it around and it picks up things and drops off other things and, and it can be replaced just like you replace oil in your car. It can re be replaced by somebody else's blood. Well, actually, the research shows what Branko first brought together is Steiner's idea that the heart is not a pump. The heart is actually a mediator, a, rhythm, a rhythmicizer for the blood. The blood itself has movement intrinsic to it. The blood is an active organ. The heart that would, would be required to actually pump that blood all the way into our capillaries in all its far foreign lands is a heart that's about this big and all muscle. The heart actually slows down the blood, gives it rhythm. Blood actually flows in the embryo before the heart is formed. Blood flows in the cadaver after the heart has stopped beating at the end of life. The blood has its own dynamics. Why is this important? Because the blood is the vehicle, the, the nature of spirit moving into the physical body. And the major organs serve the blood. The heart serves the blood, the lungs serve the blood, kidney, liver, they serve the blood. The blood is the king here. Now, this is what we do in anthroposophic psychology. We talk about, well, how does that relate to psychology? How does that relate to soul and spirit? We have a lot of fun doing that. Thank you.